Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. As many of you know, Windows 11 is going to roll out using direct storage, and this just basically improves the performance and speed of your games in the Windows operating system. And this is technology that has already been used in the uh, uh, speedy NVMe SSDs uh, that power uh, the Xbox series. And basically what direct storage is, is it just takes advantage of the power and speed of NVMe SSDs. So if you have one of those SSDs, you know, that will particularly help you if you are gaming for speed and performance. And it's basically created to make compatible games load faster and obviously a general performance improvement. And it supports, you know, a lot of modern titles and games. So this is now, obviously this uh, technology, it was originally available uh, in the Xbox series. Now, um, as many of you know, Windows 11 is going to also introduce and roll out direct storage as well. Now, this is first rolling out with Windows 11. It was first only going to roll out with Windows 11, but now Microsoft says that the technology will also now be available over in Windows 10 as well. So if you are a Windows 10 user um, and you don't really want to upgrade to Windows 11 just yet, this could be another reason, especially if you are a gamer and you do have one of those SSDs, the NVMe SSD, then this is another reason why you won't have to upgrade to Windows 11 if you are quite happy over in Windows 10. And basically this is, according to Microsoft, is going to be for Windows 10 versions 1909 and newer. So anything above 1909 uh, will be able to use this direct storage technology. And basically also what direct storage does is it reads data from the SSD in multiple streams and you know can use your GPU, GPU which is your graphics uh, processing unit uh, to decompress the data. So it just makes the flow of data a lot quicker and more speedy. And you can go read all about this over uh, on the direct storage developer preview now available. This rolled out four days ago on the 16th of July 2021 when this uh, post was um, uh, put up on the DirectX developer blog. And basically, I've just summarized everything they are saying in this uh, post. So I will leave this uh, post down, a link to it in the description box below for you to go check out. And this will give you all the information regarding that new DirectX storage technology, which is was first only going to be rolled out in Windows 11. But now, according to Microsoft, um, that's going to be also may be made available for Windows 10 users. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.